Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial. Um, today we're sticking in intelligent flight modes and we're doing a pretty cool one. This one has uh, been around, it's not new to the Mavic Pro, but it is an intelligent flight mode known as waypoints. Now what waypoints do is they allow you to um, kind of pre-program um, or preset your flight pattern. Um, as far as, or I should say flight path. So you can fly your drone up, get it to where you want it, and then you click store as a waypoint, fly it to where you want your drone to go automatically on its own. It's next time, press store. So the first run, you're doing everything manually. You're setting the path for your drone's flight. You can even change elevation and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to launch the drone as we normally do, get it up in the air. Then we will go to our intelligent flight modes and we will choose waypoints and then we'll get waypoint started. Okay, so let's make sure we have our home point stored. I already told it, heard it told me it did, but let's just make sure. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. And with that, we are going to take off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay. Now, let's just get the drone away from us a little bit. Okay, that'll probably work. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on our little remote here to bring up intelligent flight modes. Again, guys, I am in the DJI Go 4 app, so it's a remote icon. In the DJI Go app, it's a little drone icon. So we're going to click that, and then here's the first page. The second page of your intelligent flight modes is waypoints. So now we have waypoints selected. And as you can see here, it says select an existing route or record a new one. So if you have ones already pre, you know, if you've already made a route, you can choose it. But we're going to do a new one. So let's click new mission. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go record our first waypoint. As you can see, I'm turning the drone around. And let's just head over this way. Let's go a little higher. And again, guys, I'm not doing anything right now but piloting the drone. So... Let's see, let's take it over, and I have some observers coming to check the drone out. And be sure that there's usually going to be some of that going on. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, is, there I am at a baseball field, a little <laughs> softball field, I guess I should say, here in a little park in my hometown. And right there is where I'm going to, I will click down here in the bottom, I'm going to click record and you'll notice it says C1 in parentheses meaning you can hit your C1 button on the back of your controller to record the home point but I am just going to hit record right here so now it says I have one waypoint so now let's take the drone over this way and let's go up in elevation a little bit why not Okay, that ought to be pretty good. Go up a little bit more. I'm going to turn it back to face me. There I am. Okay, what is that? I didn't even notice that in the outfield. What is that? Crazy, the things you notice in the air that you don't right there on the ground next to you. Okay, I'm going to record my second waypoint. Record. Now I have two waypoints recorded. Now, let's go over this way. Let's drop an elevation just a little bit. Probably work. And again, I'm going to turn towards me. And guys, you don't have to turn towards yourself. I'm just doing that for the fun of it. Hey, look, there's the water tower. Okay, let's record it again. So now we have three ray points recorded. Now, let's go record one final one. And as you guys see, I'm just kind of doing a a big circle here. Let's go take it over this way a little bit. And you will never guess it, but I am going to <laughs> face myself with the camera again. 
Okay, there I am. And record. So now we're going to click done. And you can tell how fast you want your drone to fly these wave waypoints at. Let's make it fly at a pretty good speed. Oh, let's say 14 miles an hour. Then we're going to hit apply. Okay, now let's click apply. Now let's see what happens. Okay, so what it's doing now is the drone is flying to its very first waypoint. And right here, as you can see, it tells you how high the drone is. And also, you can change your speed while you're flying. So this just kind of makes it easy to um, get good, hands-free, um, you know, flight of your drone. So there, it's dropping in elevation. So there's my first waypoint. And what's cool is, is I can adjust the pitch of the gimbal while it's flying. And um, look, guys, putting the remote down. As you'll see, my shadow up there, I have no remote, it's on the ground. My drone is up there doing its own thing, just going on the waypoints. So I'm going to pick the remote back up just so I can see the footage that my drone's getting. Of course, you guys can see it on the big screen here. And you'll notice whenever the drone is from like one waypoint to the other, it's changing its camera angle to match where it was when you stored that waypoint. So that's pretty neat. We can click right here and toggle map modes. And look at that, we can actually see the route that my drone has flown. Okay. Did I click something? Oh, I clicked something and stopped it. That's my fault, guys. I guess I accidentally clicked something. Let me go ahead and bring the drone back here. That was weird. Okay, so I don't know if I accidentally clicked something I shouldn't have, but I wouldn't think it would matter that you toggled, you know, between the map. But here comes the drone. Let's go ahead and land it and... Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys roughly what waypoints did. Um, I could see where that would be um, be uh, very useful. Because also when the drone is flying on its predetermined, pre-programmed path, you can also rotate the drone and t t uh, t turn your left wheel to change the pitch of your, of your camera. And you can get different shots while it's already flying on its own path. So that just kind of frees up your mind. Um, to kind of control the camera and focus more on a shot you're trying to get. So I can see where that would be a very useful mode um, to where you could um, go ahead and, again, like if you're going around a structure or something and you just had a certain perfect painting shot or something you need to get, if you do the uh, waypoints, you wouldn't have to worry about flying the drone and doing the camera. You could already have your flight taken care of pre-recorded and just focus on controlling the camera. So that is really cool stuff, guys. I hope you enjoyed Waypoints. I hope you learned something from it. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these videos. Please also uh, hit that like button. I'd sure appreciate it. As always, this is Dylan, and this has been another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial.